So let's turn to a couple more scriptures here. And this first one here, Doctrine and Covenant section 93, verse 39, is talking about the wicked coming and taking away light and truth through disobedience from the children of men and because of the traditions of their fathers. Well, the traditions of our fathers are talking about wealth, health, and wealth relationships, reiterating what I shared earlier. So what is true wealth? What is true power? John 17, 3. And this is life eternal, that they may know the only true God and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. To know them, again, this is not knowing about them. This is not memorizing a bunch of scriptures and being able to say, and he did this and he did that. No, no, no. It is about knowing him. And who is he? What is the glory of God? Where does he derive his power? And it's through intelligence. The glory of God is intelligence, or in other words, light and truth. You can see 93, 36 on the screen. And so he is a being that is filled with light and truth, just like you and I. We are sons and daughters of the Most High God. We are beings of light first in a mortal body that has fallen and that has five pleasure sensors, if you will. But there's a sixth one. It's called the spirit. Napoleon Hill calls it the sixth sense. And this is our spirit, our spiritual sensors that's within our bodies, these beings of light. And these beings of light have access to control the body and access to enhance all of those five different senses to make them more sweet, more wonderful. And It's all about obedience. When you live according to the Spirit, live the divine laws, He enhances everything about your life, including your body, including helping you be fit, including giving you the energy and motivation to work out and to eat right and to be more than you can on your own. So let's continue here. Doctrine and Covenants section 6, verse 7 and uh, section 11, verse 7. Seek not for riches, but for wisdom. And behold, the mysteries of God shall be unfolded unto you, and then shall ye be made rich. The rich man was distracted with the things of the earth. He thought he had it all. He had more than his neighbors, so why didn't he have it all? Here the master of masters teaches him, if thou would be perfect. Come follow me. Again, in today's era, in today's time, he doesn't ask us to sell everything and be a pauper. Once we have acquired, once we have our eyes single to his glory and we seek after wealth, we learn in Jacob, then we seek this wealth to do good with it. Not just to have a nice house and nice cars, but to do good, to lift one another, to be free with financial substance as well as faith substance, then we can create peace on earth. Then we can have no poor among us when we work to lift and inspire one another. So how do we have access to this? How do we know who they are? John 7, 17. If any man will do his will, he shall know the doctrine, whether it be of God or whether I speak of myself. To know God, to know Jesus Christ, is to live what they teach. To practice, is one author. Robert Russell teaches that we need to practice the presence of God and that we have access to that because the kingdom of God is within us. We learn in Luke chapter 17, 20, and 21. The kingdom of God is within us. So We work from the inside out to emulate them. And how do we do that? We do that by knowing his word, reading and studying his word, and uh, writing it on what Paul calls the fleshy tables of our heart and living it. And then when we live it from the inside out, the inner vessel is purged and cleansed, meaning your thoughts, and then your words are purged. And then your body, and I should say, and then your mind, and then your body. Then you continue to grow and develop an intelligence and become more obedient, learn more laws of success and get more abundance and more. Why? So you can help others. Why? So you can bring about God's kingdom come on earth. Not you and I's kingdom come. It's not about building an empire of my own that I say, oh, I did all this. Then I gave it all away in the name of a library with my name on it. Oh, it's about seeking his glory, emulating Christ so that we can build Father's kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. Regardless of your background, faith, religion, where it's about living the correct principles and building something greater than the kingdom of this world. We want to build a celestial kingdom, a kingdom of gods, and that surpasses our understanding, that surpasses the boundaries of our mortal, limited thinking. 
God's ways are higher than our ways. God's thoughts and his ways are higher than ours. But ours can become what his are when we have access to his word and we live it. And we have from that, we get the results of his spirit. And he wants to pour, pour down his knowledge upon you. Not just a little sprinkle here and there, but pour it. Imagery of the Missouri River, Doctrine and Covenants section 121 verse 33. Love, love, love that verse. In conclusion, I've created a, a community that I'm using right now through a, a third party, uh, which is called school.com. And this community is for free. And the hope of it is to help you and I as sons and daughters of God to lift and inspire one another so we can be of one heart and one mind. And by so doing, take on the yoke of Christ access this infinite power. So in conclusion, my previous podcast was called Disciples Prosper and the one prior to that was called Jesus is the Mark. And, and the whole point of all of this is to emulate Christ. Jesus is the Mark and the shorted version is to emulate Christ. It's to make him the focal point of your life so he can transform you from the inside out. And what is prosperity? I'm not talking about becoming the rich man that was told to sell all that he had. Those are part of it. You have access to those things so you can bless other people's lives. But the prosperity that I'm talking about, I haven't currently on my description on the school at the website, www.school.com slash emulate Christ slash about. This currently says here that you believe all things are possible through God's power. If yes, then you're thinking like the master. You're thinking like Christ. And essentially, I use a quote from President Benson who says, God can make a lot more out of your life than you can. You know, I remember a first time I heard that quote, it was shortly after I'd received my blessing, shortly after I had that, that powerful insight of learning my potentiality, not only in this life, but in the next. And when I heard that quote, there's some powerful things, which we're going to read here in a minute that follow that quote, but spirit stopped me in that space. And it asked this very piercing question. I invite you to ponder this question yourself. After hearing this phrase, God can make a lot more out of your life than you can. Spirit whispered to me, so why not let him? And when I heard that in my heart, it wasn't audible. It was just deep in my heart. I heard that. So why not let him? Me as an 18 year old boy who would loved Star Wars and grew up on Star Wars, I cried out in a Yoda-like language, let him, I will. But before I cried that out, in that nanosecond that seemed like an eternity, I thought of all the possibilities. Wow, I'm working in the McDonald's chain. I could become a millionaire, multimillionaire. I could become anything because I knew I had that insight. The Lord could make more out of my life than I could. Wow. I figured if I follow the coattails of this store manager, I could become a multimillionaire. That's pretty big. But the Lord could make more out of my life than I could following his coattail. And he will do more for you. He will lift you to heights you cannot imagine in this mortal sphere. Peace that surpasses understanding. And how is prosperity defined? This is President Branson, the rest of his quote, which was reaffirmed by President Nelson in October 2022 General Conference Address. He said the following, God will deepen your joys. That is when you let him do more with your life than you can. Expand your vision, quicken your mind, lift your spirit, multiply your blessings, increase your opportunities, comfort your souls, raise up friends, and pour out peace. God be with you till we meet again. God inspire you to ask inquisitive questions. When you hear the command, be ye therefore perfect, ask the question, how can I do such things? Rather than, that's not possible. I've already made mistakes. Rather than close off his teaching, ask the hard questions. How? And he will tell you. He will instruct you. And then you turn to his word, the scriptures, the best books, etc., the gurus, whatever you want to call it, and glean truths that they have and give you access to and apply them and live them and go through life's experience, a school of life, and you will grow line upon line, perfection upon perfection, and learn how to become more like our Father in heaven. Thank you for joining me today for the first episode of Emulate Christ. Next episode is called The Highest Form of Worship is to Emulate Christ. Until then, take care.